Hi guys, my name is Pratik Singh and this is my YouTube channel. I have been writing on PowerShell automation, cloud computing and Python scripting for a couple of years now on my website ridicurious.com which you can see on your screen right now. I am also in process of writing a book called PowerShell Guide to Python which is a comparative approach to learn two scripting languages at once efficiently. Please go give the website and the book a shot. You may love it. Alright, so today in this video we are going to discuss about some ways to create PowerShell objects. PowerShell is an object based scripting language and it is a good practice to create objects to return, store and manipulate information instead of using text. But are you aware that there are four ways to create PowerShell objects? Let me just jump to my Visual Studio Code Editor and show you each of these approaches. Approach number one. You can create a hash table and typecast them to PowerShell custom object which is PS custom object type accelerator. This is the fastest way to create an object in PowerShell. So for now I have this hash table and I'll just simply type square brackets here start typing ps custom object once i'm done if i run this thing it will give me the objects with some properties called first name and last name and some values if i store this object in a variable called o and if i pipe o to get member commandlet then you will see it is an object of ps custom object class all right, so let me just label this method one and I'll just clear the screen for you. Now let's jump to approach two. You can also use select object commandlet to create objects with custom properties in PowerShell. That means you can use commandlet called select object and pass a hash table with key value pairs inside to form an object. Please note that we have to also pass an input object with an empty string here. Once I run this, you will see again I have a PowerShell object created. There is an alternative available to this method wherein instead of using input object, I can just pipe an empty string to this select object with a custom with custom properties. So if I run this, you will see the object has been created again. Approach number three is using new object and add member commandlet. This is a longer way to create PowerShell objects where you first instantiate class PS object, then use add member commandlet to add properties to that particular object. This is not only limited to properties, but you can also add methods to an object using this approach. That means I can also use add member commandlet to add methods to my existing object. So just let me complete this method here. And here you go. So now if I run this, there would be an object created with name of dollar obj. And you can also see both the properties first name and the last name and I can also use dot operator to run the method which is get name. Here you go. So you can see the results which is first name plus the last name. Fourth and final approach is using new object commandlet and using hash tables with it. So PowerShell also allows you to create hash tables and assign it as a property to the commandlet new object where you are instantiating PS object class. So if I run this again, you will see an object would be created with same properties for first name and last name. If you love my content, don't forget to send your support in form of likes and comments on this video. And please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, which is a motivation for me to create more such videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.